Today we're going to be filming a surprise video. Once upon a time, there were two girls named Rosie and Daisy. Mm -hmm. And they thought that their life was really boring. I'm bored. So they decided to go on a walk in their nearby ravine. Let's go walking. Don't forget to cross the streets. Look both ways. What's this? And they came across a crystal egg. It looks like a crystal egg. Let's take it home and see if it hatches. So they took it home and decided to put it beside their fireplace so that it would stay warm. Let me put it inside. Okay, let's put it right here near the fireplace. And they decided to wait by taking a nap. Have a nap. A few days later, they found out that nothing really was happening and the egg seemed broken. Nothing's happening. It looks, I think the egg's broken. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that it's just a goose egg. So they decided to take it to the pet store to see if they knew anything about it. Let's take it to the pet store. So they left the house that day. Cross the road, zip up and slowly. Here we are. Hi guys, how would you like help? Um, we were walking, walking in the ravine and we found this. Oh my gosh. Is that the crystal egg? The long lost crystal egg? It belongs to the palace of pink fluffy unicorns and it's the egg of a pink fluffy unicorn. Oh my gosh, you guys better be careful with this. We've been keeping it near the fireplace and we thought maybe it had just kept it warm. But nothing has happened. Oh, you guys are like so wrong. So you like have to keep it in medium temperature on something like really soft because, you know, it's like royalty. And like everything has to be medium and it helps if it's in a rainbow place because, you know, it's like a unicorn. And also it's pink for the unicorn that's like on rainbows. Yeah, okay. So yeah, do that. And do not break it. Ugh, got so mad I knocked over my whole entire booth. Ugh. How come they get the egg? <laughs> so they decide to go back home and change its surroundings. Okay. Okay. It's good that we bought this fluffy thing. It's fluffy enough, I hope. Okay, let's keep it right here. It's near all the rainbow stuff. Okay, I guess we should have a nap. So Wait. they decided to sleep beside the egg and see if anything changed. And after a few days, something did happen. Oh my gosh, it's glowing! It's glowing! It's moving, it's moving, and it's glowing! <gasps> I think it's gonna hatch! So they just hook it outside so it wouldn't explode their whole rainbow house. Let's take it outside just in case it might explode. Let's take it back to the ravine where it came from. And so they took it to the ravine where they first found it. Put it right there. And there was a poof of light. And then... A magical unicorn was born. They decided to name it Flufflepuff. I'm gonna name it Flufflepuff. Can you take her somewhere we want? We really want to show you something. Can you come up your ear if you don't mind? Hi, it's so fluffy. Me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to walk. I just pick up. Take one step at a time. Go forward one step. You know what? Forward means go like this. Me. Take another step. Me. Take another step. Me. Take another one. Me. Here you go. Oh. M G is that the Flufflepuff princess? <gasps> Excuse me, the third pet. Oh my gosh, it hatched so beautifully. It's 
the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I want to start crying. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh gosh, it's so cute. Uh, cute little woody woody. Excuse me. You're a cute little fluffy fluffy, 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 fluffy puff. What? It's my pet. Okay, I don't want to kick it. Tickle it. Oh, you cute, cute little woody woody. Oh, okay, okay, you don't really like a lot of tickling. Mm. We are a nice little fluffy. Oh, I think she's crying because she doesn't know you. Oh, I'm like the pet person that like totally told them how to hatch Three. you. Mm. Why are you running over my place? Three. Why don't you knock it over? Three. Okay, then I guess <gasps> you don't. Oh, you like pink things. Three. Three. Well, you're hungry. Wait, well, you know exactly what you're supposed to eat. Let me just go get the paper over here. Oh no, you see, you you literally knocked out my boot. Oh, no. I'll just go Can get the paper from you. over there. There you go. Just get. I'll just get you a whole entire resource of paper. Here you go, paper. Can we do this home with us, please? Uh, yeah, sure. You're welcome. Um, you just have to somehow carry it over there. It's a lifetime supply, so you better not waste it. And make sure the rubber band doesn't come off, or it's gonna explode everywhere. Bye, guys. Um, am I allowed to visit like your pink fluffy thing whenever I want? Uh, sure. Our house is just across the street. Oh. Oh, I see it. I, I see it. So off they went to take it home with their big fluffy paper. They were so excited that they didn't notice the cars. Green cars! And Daisy got hurt. Daisy got severely hurt and she was in severe danger. And then something magical happened. The pink fluffy unicorn touched Daisy with her special sock and her little cute little nose. And Daisy was back to normal. What happened? Why am I in the, why am I in the hospital? And everyone lived happily ever after from then on with their magical unicorn. And they were never, ever, ever bored again.